All right, so welcome. It is Wednesday night, and this is Generic Fantasy Setting number 17735, and uh, I'm your Dungeon Master, Kelly. Tonight we are going into the depths of the Temple of Ishar, where the characters hope to find an ancient relic called the Tears of Ishar that can heal their friend Farah from her poisoning. She's been poisoned with a rare herb called White Dragon Nettle, which is likely to kill her if they wait too long. They have been given this task by a uh, trickster priest named, uh, what was the name again? Graz. Graz. Xerthus? Xerthus. Wait, I thought he was. Xerthus. He introduced himself to Graz at one point. Yeah, in a different body. Yeah. Yeah. He's still our Grazzy boy. That's, no, that's another guy. Oh, then, wait, who are we talking about then? No, but like, Graz is actually another person. He stole his identity. Yeah. He's not actually Graz. Yeah. I thought, th I thought that was his, like, god name. No! You mean... From, like, way back when. Like, no, ja you mean Jalos? No. Nope. 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 There's too many people. Nope. We made too many people. There's plenty more coming. Oh, no. no. It sounds like he took over somebody's body who was named Graz. He, well, he shapeshifted. Exactly. He shapeshifts. Yeah. Yeah. And his yeah. actual name is Xerxes. Yeah, he Xerxes. pretended he was, an, he was an old rocker. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who was based off Dave Grohl. Mm, how do you pronounce it once more? Shirthus. Shirthus. So it's Shirthus. Because it's pronounced with, it's spelled with an X, so it, so it's Zir? Zir? Thus. It's almost like saying shirtless, but not quite. That's what I was getting, actually. Yeah, Shirthus. Uh, and then Zialos is the god, or Shalos. All right. Uh, so let's introduce ourselves starting with the late one. That's my inspiration. You're yeah. late now. I didn't even know. What? What? So Mike's you're, expecting. You're it's yours. Roll. Is it the bunny? Yes, actually. I'd pick up my bunny on the 22nd. That's exciting. So I'm Clue. I'm Amy. I'm playing Tia Armstrong, the half-orc druid. Cool. Would that pit me next because I was... Uh, uh, That's gone forever. forever. <laughs> Hi, I'm Winter. I'm playing Marisol, or Mars, the Tiefling Rogue. I'll just, like, come in on the claps. I can make your uh, hands clap. I am Mike, and I am playing as an Octopus Red Wing. He is a half-elf ranger. Wow, that actually really, really hits loud. So don't, uh, don't slam your fists until we get some more of the, the shotgun pulls. <laughs> All right, and uh, I normally would be playing uh, Farah, the dragon, the teenage dragon girl, but tonight I am playing a temporary NPC called, well, unless you guys, like, invite him into the party, uh, named Cadmus, who is a, um, a dwarven fighter, a, a mountain dwarf fighter who has joined up with the party inside of the mines and is moving, uh, moving in with Malia soon, probably. Who knows? You want us to move that out of the way for you onto the table? I need it. I need everything on the table because dungeon crawls are ridiculous. Yeah. All right, so let's introduce the roster. We've got. We've got. We've got. My, oh, sorry, new camera. I'm getting used to it. My boy. <laughs> That's the most handsome dwarf model there is. How sad is that? Okay, we got. Tia. Oh God, they're so dark. You can't really see them on the board. I know. We'll have to paint their bases different colors, mm -hmm. so we can tell who's who. Well, I mean, I can also just... I mean, there's not much we can do about it tonight, but... There we go, look at that! No, I guess that works too. Neat. There, but slightly yeah. more of a green outline there, but whatever. Higher contrast, yeah. Yeah, they're still a little camouflaged, but you know what? Yeah. We can work with it. Yep, yeah. you can see where they are on the map. Yeah, that's the important part. First time doing it. Okay, was that for a dungeon camp in the future? If we paint their bases different colors, so yeah. then from up at top you can see who's who, which character. Uh, that's a good idea. That's smart. Without necessarily having all the detail of like each character themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what I what I can also do though is I can go boop, and then I can go.
there so it's a little more zoomed out. That's the frame. And there we go. There. Better? Yes. Mm. I, I, can, so. I can also expand it. Like too, like too far, but you Oof. get the idea. I think unfortunately they're just dark enough that they're not going to. Yeah. You're not going to be able to see detail, mm. I don't think. Yeah, you get the idea though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then we've got where's Malia? I have so many freaking minis here. Oh my god. Malia will stand out though. She got red hair. Boing. Like, what do I even need half these guys for? Just punch the camera, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Punch the keys. I got your sister. Yep. Yes. That's Malia. That's Malia. That yeah. is funny. Dang. I don't know. You're not I sure think, which one it is. I think that might be Zeno. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The gloom stalker that hides in the shadows. <laughs> He's allergic to light and people. No, 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 no. Let's give him a sword made of sun. That's Count Doom yes. Von Doom. Count Doom Von Doom. Count Mount Doom Von Doom. I don't, ha Doom I don't have Doom. any halfling minis out right now. The dome. Okay, the dome. where's the my dome. tiefling? Yeah, where is that tiefling? Where, where are you? Right? That's always the question. You sne where am I? sneaky bitch. What? Is the gloom stalker that has a sword made of sun? Yes. Yeah, I, I didn't think that one through, but... That's 27 on stealth right there. Like, I actually can't find you. <laughs> like, I can find the other two. Yeah. Oh, because you're... Wait, no, that's not you. That's the other tiefling. Uh, mm. Suspicious. Uh, I don't know. This is going... This, this is why we don't run on Monday nights, because Monday karma happens. Yeah, let's never do this again. It sounds like let's someone's never, having let's... a case of the Monday. Oh my never god, this is Monday. the worst Monday in quite a while. I agree. Who else had a shitty Monday? Raise your hand. All right, cool. Fuck it. Let's play D and D. I agree. Without winter. Let's take our frustrations hey. out on enemies. Tree and D. Let's tree and D. Some trees. Let's play dogs. Winter. And... Where the hell are you? Did you have that earlier? Yeah. Uh, heck. Because I just double checked to make sure that you didn't need to be updated. You sure I didn't already go on the board? No, she's not. Or, do you guys see if she's on the floor anywhere? Uh, I do not. Yes. Oh, yeah, she is. What? Why am I on the floor? Yeah, there's a mini because right you to decided the to take leg. a leap of faith. Oh heck! I, I none of us never do that. that. Where is it? Oh, right, is this okay, I can do it. I can do it. I have the power. That's my ribs. By the power of. Dang. Grab by Grabthar's hammer. Wow. Okay. What? Just. Just going so. All right. I'm tired. And yes. so, just one last. One last, one last, one last thing. Is it? Am I sounding okay? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what I sound. There we go. There. <laughs> All right. Ah. All right. So just one last sound test while we're on the air. Yes. Hello. Hi. I'm Winter. Hello. I am Amy. Hello. Hello. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm Christine. Oh. Okay. I just figured Mike hadn't done it, so I was like. Well, oh well. I. I didn't we... want to follow all the trend. All right. So um, just keep an eye on your red lines, okay? Are we the, the bottom one there? Uh, yeah. Alright. In fact... There. Oh, I know so many of them. Okay, mm -hmm. good. And then the dungeon cam doesn't need an audio track because the dungeon cam has nothing to say. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it did, it would say something like, you guys suck and took the wrong turn. Probably. And for some reason... Say hello to all these traps. No. Why is the Samsung saying that we're broadcasting out? Oh, do I still have Barovian Village playing? I do. Oops. Mm. Well, that's going to sound like something. Uh, anyway, hi. Welcome. Technical difficulties are great. Now we're doing more stuff with technology. I need a producer. I'm going to be a producer. I need a producer who's not playing, but hey. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm playing. <laughs> Sorry. Like, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Anyway, welcome. This is Dork Tales, and we are going to start in just a moment. I'm going to turn my volume down just slightly because when I speak loud, it's loud. Oh, loud. Wow. 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 Okay. All right. So last time, you traveled through the mines beneath Onion to make it to the ancient temple of the goddess Ishar. As you traveled, you came across a wounded dwarf who had been sent in uh, to do mercenary work. That's going to be loud. Yeah, well, I don't have any other options. 
Some things are acceptable. I have so many minis and things. It's ridiculous. Um, you traveled into the mines to rescue, uh, or to find the. God, I'm really out of it. Me too. Me too. All right, hold on. This Never is be loud. Sorry, this sorry, chat. Ooh. All right, we're gonna cut in right here again. All right, you travel down into the platinum mines beneath Onion in order to find the cure that would save Farah and Timidius, the ancient gold dragon. As you descended into the mines, you found a wounded dwarf who was one of the, um, uh, basically mercenaries that was hired to keep the mines safe from various monsters and threats, who had been wounded by some undead. You healed him and uh, defeated his undead uh, former colleagues. And he decided to join you to get to the bottom of what was going on. Mm -hmm. uh, also, he is dishy AF. His sure. forearms are the size of ham hocks. Oh, oh. Just how you wow. like them. <laughs> All right. His forearms are the, are the width of Zeno's waist. Yep. And he, oh, no. And he's pretty much claimed by Malia at this point. Yeah. Someone yeah. she can date without a stepladder. <laughs> Yikes. Mm, when you don't have massive four foot height differences. All right, so with that, what is going to happen is you are going to, uh, and this is the only downside of this dungeon thing, I don't have any square or circular rooms, so we're gonna have to use our imaginations. No, we can't do that. There's no imagination in this room. What? All and right. then we can just laser point to where we want things? Yeah, so laser point on the screen. And then the... Pew, pew, pew. So, oh, okay. Pew, so. Just put the laser point there. That's just really hard to see on the screen. I'm not sure that'll work. Can we see? Okay, then you can just... <laughs> well, yeah, that's what works for me. Well, okay, no raving. Kind of... Also, who's got the weird colored one? What? what? Is one of them green? No. No. What are you no. talking about? Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. Never that's mind. fine. Okay. So, uh, I do not look forward to people listening to this on podcast. Uh, what's marching order? Um, I forgot where we were. We were going into the new area with the pink mist or something. You were. So, why don't we just jump in there? I think, didn't Winter like launch herself in first or something? I don't, she usually I does, but I don't remember this. us doing that. No. I, I think we were all kind of like, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Yeah, I don't think I went in first because my... Because I can't check for traps as effectively as some of the other party members can, so I've been trying not to. Yeah, I think Malia and Xena were in the lead for most of the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, here's what, the way this is going to work. And as being a temple, Xena's probably going to defer to Malia's judgment on religious stuff. On religious mm -hmm. stuff? Yeah. Okay. He's still discovering religion. Mm -hmm, to be fair. Yeah. All right, let's put on a little bit of temple music. Oh yeah, and you could die by looking, being looked at. And yeah, died by being looked at. Heck. Well, I didn't quite die. I thought you were like dead, dead, just about. No, he was dying, dying. Dying, <laughs> dying. As you move around the the pit in the mines, leading down into the underdark. Say goodbye to those drow who were very curious why you were dropping great axes on their heads. Sorry. I had a little pleasant conversation. Sorry. You, you, proceed, you proceed to an area where the wall has been tunneled in using magic. A quick inspection proved that it was, in fact, a, sh a stone shape smell. Spell. Mondays. Mondays. It smelled like stone shaping in here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, look at your man. Now look back at me. Now look at your dragon man. I don't know where to look! No. Oh wait, I play both of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, the corridor is about ten feet long, leading to a room made of pale marble, laced with bright blues and pinks. The veins are deep and glow with a soft pinkish light. There's a low mist hanging at the base of these, uh, at, the, at the bottom of this temple's room. And you can see that there 
are a gathering of petals drifting around the floor. Mike, can I get you to do one very annoying favor for me? Yes. Can you grab that green bag that has all of the props I went out and bought for this? Mm. Because I was worried about audio. Oh, I just brushed the mic with my butt. I'm sorry. Good job, Mike. <laughs> and I got butt sound on it. All right, I apologize for any crinkly noise. So many props. Everything is the sound of butts. At this point, I'm not convinced you're wrong. <laughs> when it comes right down to it, living, it <laughs> living is just the sound of butts. Mm -hmm. Butts, 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 butts. All right. I knew I should have put that green bag on the table before I did all that. <laughs> Those are big flower flowers petals. Everywhere. Flowers. Those are yeah. huge flower petals. No, those, those, those are called flowers. Those, those are, roses are the size of my head. They're mm -hmm. piles of, of of petals and things. And I think we did a check last time to like something to check to do and with... see if it was toxic. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think it is. And I mean that in the way that the dungeon master is saying you don't think it is. I'm not trying to screw you with this. Okay. There, I pulled apart enough petals to make this work. Yay! Sweet, sweet energy drink. Petal to the metal. And I don't know being about you, awake. Christine, Sorry. I finished my whole one in like second spot. I was you shouldn't do that one, Dark. I know, but I was chug, thirsty. Chug, chug. Yeah, the, they don't quench your thirst. That's Ooh. what water is for. <laughs> Are you. Okay, what? Dad. Never heard of her. You have your full energy drink over the course of like half an hour. Okay. What? Otherwise, it's gonna hit you like a truck. But that no. But that's what I want. <laughs> Just end my suffering, please. All right. Moving back oh, in. God. Looking inside, you can see that in the center of the room is a large basin, a fountain with a pair of hands raising out of the water, cupped, but no water flows, just old, mushy petals gathered in the basin. It smells slightly rotten here, the sickly sweet smell of flowers left out to rot. What do you do? Well, it's mushy, but it's not dusty. No. I guess this temple's been pretty airtight for a while, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. Not for a while, though. I mean, if it's, it's mushy, it you know. means that they're just starting to rot. I've, Up I've until heard. recently, it was wet and had more moisture. Something recently stopped it. Possibly. Or it could just be a weird old magical temple thing. All right, magic. Yeah. Yeah, magic does is real. Dang. So yeah. who's going in first? Well, I will go in first. So Zeno, as you walk in from the mine, you are going to notice that there's a door directly across from you. Double doors made of stone with swirling hands and mouths and many lashed eyes looking everywhere, as well as the same carvings of petals. What do you do? What do you all do? Um, can I do a perception check to see what else is in the room other than just the fountain and the doors? Sure. 21. Looking around, you can see that once upon a time, this fountain would have been overflowing with pristine, clear water. But it's more than that. As you approach, you can see that there are a number of runes engraved on the side of this fountain, leading you to believe that at one point this probably held some type of holy water. It has long since dried up, however. Well, it looks like this is where the tears of Ishar would have been. 
you'll also notice that very faintly over the doors are a number of runes as well. They're in a language I don't believe you read. What languages do you speak? Uh, Undercommon, common, elven, draconic. They are not in a language that you that you understand, but it looks familiar. Can I look at them? Sure. Do you draw her attention to them? Yeah, I will, I'll bring everyone's attention to and ask if anyone knows what they are. Uh, it I is, speak celestial. It is written in celestial. Uh, and it says, all are welcome in the home of Ishar. Um, but it's more of an archaic tongue, really. It's yeah. it's more of the, thou art welcome, air, that type of language. Thou art welcome, air, the home of Ishar. Does anyone else speak celestial or read celestial here? Infernal, yes. Don't worry, your time will come. It's Not, come before. Yeah, it's true. I will read it out in Celestial and then uh, translate it. Well, it doesn't sound like the worst temple in the world to, you know. So do we knock? Do we just go? Knock on what? The door! Oh. Alright. The door is actually warm to the touch. And as you press on it, it will groan underneath the pressure and will swing open. Does it open with any sort of like harsh creaking or does it almost open like effortlessly like it just kind of does it on its own? It does that so much so that it actually opens to the side, splitting in the center and sliding into the walls oh, with a sight. Do you head inside? I will look to see what I can see from the doorway before heading in, but yes. All right. Actually, I will just swap this out real quick. I made a lot of dungeon tiles, guys. Better to make too many and not need them than to not make them enough. That is definitely true. Well, let's just decorate that a little bit. Alright, so these are going to be used to tag doors. Alternatively, I could use these because they're a little easier to see. Mm -hmm. So we'll say that that is the double doors. Okay. The doors will slide to the side, and you can see that there is a large rectangular room. On the other side of it, there is a single door leading away, and as well, a door on either side. Inside of the room itself, you can see that there is... A beautiful statue in the center of the room, which we will represent as such. <coughs> that actually looks really nice on the image, yeah. <laughs> and in reality it's like a little Star Wars figure on top of some other stuff. That's so funny. <laughs> Meh. If it looks good, it looks good. All right. Who entered first? Um, I will, after having like looked around to see if it looks like there's any obvious traps, etc. And then I'll fall in and right behind. Okay. And what is everyone's passive perception? 15. 18. 17. 9. <laughs> Who was no. 18? Me. Yes, 18. You went for the stealthy one. Right? No, my perception sucks. I, I just, I love it though. I love that you're really good at sneaking. So people don't see you. But you don't see them either. I mean, I see everyone. Yeah. As you step inside of the room, you will see the statue of a, a beautiful woman. She looks down at you all from atop the pedestal, her skin carved out of pink sandstone, smooth to the touch. It 
glows with an internal light. Her hands are raised out to you. And she looks down at you. And the statue is somewhat weathered with age. So much so that the facial, the facial features blur together. Yes? I'm just trying to picture it. Um, do you mean sandstone or do you mean quartz? Uh, I believe I mean quartz. Okay. I do mean quartz. I was just thinking sandstone is very opake. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to confirm. Yeah, I, I, I knew, I, yeah, basically as soon as I said it, I was like, I meant quartz. Mm. Lovely rose quartz statue. Yeah. Mm. That would be pretty. That would be very pretty. Especially with all the flowers and stuff, mm -hmm. too. She looks down at you from atop her pedestal, her hands outstretched to you. And as you walk around the room, you can see that her hands are outstretched to you no matter which door you enter from. That's weird. As Why you, does she do that for the one behind her? Do you continue to walk around? Yeah. As you do, in your eye, the... The statue shifts and moves with you, always staying facing you. But for the rest of you, it doesn't move at all. Not until you do. That's creepy. Guys, what? do you see that? <laughs> see what? It moves. It's so it's always reaching towards you. Uh, it's I don't like this. Not so moving. it does that once we move as well? Can I move? Okay, sure. I'll move to the other direction. It follows you. As you move, it... Huh. It's still reaching towards me, too. So is the statue itself moving, or is it some weird perception magic? Illusion. I don't know. Perception check it? You, uh, this would be an investigation <laughs> roll. Well, investigation? Investigation. It? I can, I, you I can, can do that. I can do that. You can. 18, 24. 24? Yes. 18. All right. As both of you, it's very strange. What you'll gather from her uh, is... The statue itself is radiating some form of internal light. Almost, it almost looks like it was one of those carved salt rocks, like the salt lamps that we have these days. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's glowing with this outward energy that kind of bathes over you. And as you look at it, you can feel a slight fuzz over your eyes, mm. like you've been staring at a candle too long. But what really disturbs you is how warped this statue has become with age. The facial features have been smoothed over, and while she is beautiful, her lips are still intact, and she has a comely form. Her eyes have been completely blurred. So now this cyclopean entity gazes down at you inhumanly. Well, how one, tall is it? Uh, the statue itself is about seven feet tall, and it's on top of a pedestal that's four feet tall. The ceiling here is about 12 feet tall, so you could easily touch the roof if you climbed on her shoulders. Can I do that? <laughs> yes, you may. Cool. All right. Um, winter. Hi. Uh, so, I need everybody here. Uh, does everybody have post-its? Yes. No. I have some, at least. No. Cool. Can you pass them down to some other people so they have some, too? Uh, that's very nice. We'll, we'll need more than that, I think. Well. I've only got a few. Aha, uh -huh. well. Technology means that. don't have any over here. Technology means that we start late and without post its. Uh, they went back in the, they went back in the thing. But hold on. I can leave easier than all of you and get post its out of my work bag. Work bag. Work bag. I know. Work, 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 work. Work socks. I know. <laughs> I just got it. Oh, good. What? I just. It's a blank one in your on. Oh. It goes work sucks, I know, but everyone memes no, it to say work everyone's sucks. Everyone's dead. We all died from looking at the statue. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Rocks fall and we all die. Goes, yeah, Mars gets on the shoulder, topples yeah. it, and I'm sorry. crushes all of us. Well, I want to inspect like, the face Paradise. a little bit more. Sounds good. Here, no. Pass those down. We're using pink notes, of course. Yes, pink. Yeah. Pink is the only valid color. Okay. Uh, so earlier tonight, I texted each of you, uh, or I sent out a group message. 
So I need you to write down uh, a positive and negative. Oh, that's a bit different than what you asked earlier. Well, I asked for a positive for sure. Yeah. Or at least a, a, a desire. Oh, crap. Um, yikes. Big yike. And what, can, big what would yike. be the negative aspect of that then? Or the opposite of it? If it's a desire, is it something that like could absolutely go... What wakes you up at night? So Winter, as you climb up, as Mars climbs up, she watches the computer do weird things. Okay, cool. Can this be like a very abstract? Can be. It can be anything. So it's one desire and one opposite desire. Sure. Okay. Like something you really don't I'd, want, or something that you really want but it's bad for you. I just can't remember the messages all on my phone turned off. I mean, I right. pulled it. I pulled it up. <laughs> Basically, what's your what's your hidden desire? What's your dream? What are you afraid of? Okay. If you're being honest with yourself. Yikes, indeed, my friend. Yikes. No, my brain's not working. Yikes. Why is everyone dumb tonight? It's, I don't know, it's, it's Monday and we've all had horrible days. And That's fair. I mean, I didn't like, really think of this because I was spending all weekend getting ready for an interview and then having an interview. Yeah. yeah. This is the last week of the kids before winter holidays, so like we're having open houses and all this extra stuff. So you have a holiday. Yeah. It's I, almost Christmas. I was distracted I with strike stuff at work, and then my fi one of my fishes, one of my fishes, sick. So. Oh, fishy. Yeah, he's got swim bladder disease. He'll be fine. Yeah. I just have to hand feed him peas. Okay. Huh. Well, I don't know what to say to that. So let's move on. <laughs> I mean. He he has to fast for three days, and I feed him two to three peas a day. Oh, oh, poor fishy. Yeah, he'll be okay though. I have to hold him in one hand and feed him with another hand. It's okay. The, well. things, the things you do for love. Mm. All right. Uh, can I, Winter? Hi. How's it going? Great. Amy? The view's great up here. It's coming along. My God, this audio sounds good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's good. We worked really hard to get it that way. All right. Cool. So that was worth the extra time. Sorry, there's a four second audio delay. So I was like, I can't listen to you guys and that my brain's melting. Yeah. All right. I will edit this all out when I upload it later. Cool. I'm just working on the negative right now. As you climb up, mm -hmm. Mars, you... You climb up on the pedestal, and you can almost get a really good look at her face. Do you continue climbing? Oh, yeah. All right. So as you reach up, you can put your arm on hers. And as you do, the arm will shift in its socket, <laughs> sliding down. You almost tumble but catch yourself. And as you do, her slightly opened lips will start bubbling. And large pink bubbles will begin to pour out of her mouth in rapid succession, like like a wash basin. Sorry. Is there a smell? It smells kind of like flowers, like soap suds. <gasps> Is this a bath? And one of the bubbles grows very, very, very large. And I need everyone here to make me a charisma save. Oh, sweet! A <laughs> save. <laughs> Shit. What? A charisma save? Nat yep. 20. Plus 5. Uh, so 25. 18. Oh, actually, sure. that reminds me. I also am a person. Oh, heck. Oh, congrats. 4. Um, 10. 16. What'd you get, Amy? No, 18. 4 total. Uh, can, I, can I get your post it? Uh, I'm still working on it. But I need it fast. I will get it to you quickly. But. <laughs> but um, negative and positive. Jesus. 
one of the bubbles expands in front of your eyes, and you can see Zeno's face looking at you. Okay. The bubble parts from her lips and drifts across the room. Everyone here can watch as clear as a vision, as clear as a scrying pool, as clear as a television. You can see into this bubble as it drifts around the room. And then you'll start to hear the softest bit of noise. Zeno! Uh, I'm working on like the last little bit here. Zeno will turn inside of the vision, and you will see a young girl, perhaps her late teens, early 20s at the most, with, I believe, curly, dark hair, approaches. Is she actually real? She's in the bubble. Oh, she's in the bubble. Okay. And as she approaches, they clasp hands, and as they lean in, it will touch... It'll touch the corner of the statue's base and will pop right as they almost kiss. Probably you, wasn't my best one, but... Probably wasn't your best one, but you, as looking up, you will just see an illusory image of your friend from Ashwood. Oh. Your special friend. Your ex. The day that you gave her your family's bow? <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. What a bow it was. The bubbles will continue to fill the room, floating down next to you. Each of you will see different things reflected. For Cadmus, you'll see him entering one of the great dwarven cities perfectly carved stonework everywhere, lit with torches burning with an eternal flame. Dwarves of all ages, genders, colors, and backgrounds raise mugs to him. And one of them steps forward who you will recognize for certain as one of the dwarf kings. You'll recognize that crown, the square perfection of its cut, the gems, and the dwarven rune for ruler. And as you do, you will see him walk to Cadmus in the vision, put a hand on his bowed head, and say, You're welcome home, son. And it will pop. I don't like this at all, he says. We should probably get out of here. This is definitely a trap. Can I get uh, one more charisma save since you guys are just kind of hanging out in this? Ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha. 20. 19. 18. Oh, I like 21. That but one. Plus one. That dodge no. is going to end up being minus one. <laughs> Do you need my thing or... I would like all of your things, yeah. It's got kind of a lot of things jotted on it. I apologize. If I had thought more about it today, I would have got had something significantly better. I'm sure. No, you can always add it in don't, later. don't apologize on camera. We don't apologize. We perform. <laughs> we don't apologize for perfection. Um, but then you should probably apologize. Oh. It's part of the drama. It's part of the drama. We're all drama here. A bubble departs from her lips and floats around the room. And you can see Malia walking in to a small but comfortable hilltop manor. There's a dwarf laying in a bed. The room is lit in high contrast from a thunderstorm behind her, blowing all of the candles, save for perhaps the flame in the fireplace, to rest. As she walks in, the darkness clings to the man in the bed. He's a dwarf. 
but not like any you've ever seen. His skin hangs off of his bones as if it were paper, as if it were something he threw on to stay warm. His hands look like they were once strong and capable of crushing bricks with ease and now look like the slightest wind could dislocate a finger. His hair is completely gray. His scalp, once full of curled, bristly hair, holds nothing but a multitude of wrinkles. Malia approaches the bed, and an old, wrinkled woman stands and blocks her path. Love, it's been too long. He doesn't want to see you. I'm going to go pop that bubble. All right, so how do you do that? Um, I'll just swing my hammer through it. All right, the bubble pops with an audible boom. Not a, not a, but more of a, like a slap to the face. Um, and she's going to go stride over to the doors and start looking at them. All right. Uh, which one do you go to? There are three options. Um, probably the one directly in front of me. All right, to so this one? Yeah. All right, so as you storm through to that one... I'm not uh, going to push it open or anything. I want to examine it first. Okay. So what you can see there is that the door itself has... Let's see, which door is this, anyway? Do, 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 do. The door itself, it has a swirling mosaic on it of dryad nymphs cavorting in the shade. It has a simple ring handle that you believe you just lift, turn, and push. It's a single door. The stonework is elegant and of an ancient type that you haven't seen in a long time. This is the kind of stuff that would be in Dwarven museums. Okay, I will come check this one. Okay. As well, before checking the final one. As you approach that one, you will see that it has a face carved into it. It's cruel and with an upturned frown like this. It's the face of a man pouting rather severely. His eyes are swole shut. And he looks very much like Carl from Up. Well, I don't know what's going on, but uh, my mouse was freaking out. As you approach, um, the eyes will unsquint. Okay, that's freaky. And in Celestial, he will say to you, What do you want? Uh, what's your door go to? More doors. Uh, anything interesting? Everything here is interesting. Why do you ask? Make me an investigation roll. Uh, I don't know why my mouse is doing this. It's. It's just kind of having um, a rave party. Yeah. Yeah. I know this pretty rave mouse. Is there anything else like metally on your? Well, I just unplugged it and it's still doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's... You're absolutely right. Uh, the... So the touch pads being, tan like, slightly touched. By foil. Yeah, oh, there you that go. that would confuse things. There we go. All right, that makes more sense. Um, what'd you get? Uh, 16. So, as you're looking at him, you can see that in the dust beneath this face is the word Agatea. 
and before that, speak Agatea. Do you say that out loud? Yeah. But I'm not going to do it. What? I'm not going to do it. Do what? Speak Agatea. And then as he says that, the door will split down the middle, <laughs> cut it bisecting him as it slowly grinds open. Ah, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> that was way easier than I expected it to be. <laughs> Oop. God damn it. <laughs> it's okay, there's two more doors. Uh, so that door is going to open wide and reveal that there is a long corridor on the other side of it. Huh. What did you find? A corridor. Uh. Anything indicating what's supposed to be down there? Nope. Heck. Well. <laughs> Check that other door at the far end and see what it, what it looks like. Sure. Tell me if there's anything written on it. Sure. Tia's gonna go check it out. <laughs> All right, as you approach that door, you will see that these are not what I need. They are in that other bin. These are not the cards you're looking for. I'm just going to hang out with my girl, uh, Ishar, so. As you approach the other one, you will see that there is... An investigation roll? You know it. <laughs> There is an investigation roll of... Oh, I rolled a six. So that's going to be a fun... Uh, uh, that's a seven, I believe. A seven total? Yeah. So Tia, as you approach the door, you will see that there is... Just a simple handle. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's anything special here. Just a handle. Huh. Touch and, touch well, what was on the other two? Um... Handle and a pitcher, and this one had a face that spoke. I don't see anything like that here. I tricked it into opening, apparently, accidentally. Ha! Huh. Yeah, girl. Must not be a security measure then. Interesting taste. Huh. Um. The handle is a simple claw. Yeah. You try it. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, a good idea. Do you pull in a? Do you pull toward you or push? What does this seem like to me based on this handle? With, a, with an investigation roll of seven, eh, push or pull? Eh, I will try both. Okay. Uh, it doesn't pull toward you, and as you push, uh, you will make it about an inch before something hits the other side and slams it shut loudly. Uh, Boom! I look down from my perch. Right, sorry, guys. It's all good. My legs are cramping. I know my A legs bubble... Too. We just can't win tonight. No. no a bubble blows directly in your face at this point. I need everyone in the center of the room to make me another charisma save. Does that include me or am I on the like, uh, You will do it with advantage. With advantage. Uh, Christine, you will also do it with advantage. 20. 18. 18? <laughs> well, I rolled a 4 and a 5. So, um, All right. charisma and save, that's going to be a 7. Cool. Um, Good. Cadmus rolled a 1. So that's good. Oh. Uh, oh no. Excuse me. So. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right. So Tia, as you have the door slammed in your face, you will turn around, and the remainder, the other three of you, will see Cadmus and Tia both fixated, their eyes locked on these bubble images. Tia. is a little girl again, running behind a wagon. She falls and scrapes her knee and dark blood courses down the cut. You can still see, and you have seen during swimming and bathing, the scar from the rock she fell on. She watches someone who looks very much like her and someone else who looks quite a bit like her as well, ride off, waving away from her, moving further and further behind as all of the light begins to fade away around her, leaving her with nothing at all. Tia, you're completely alone. 
This room doesn't exist. You turn from the door and you're standing in hollow blackness. Only the distant sound of wagon wheels echoing like when your parents left on their trip. I you... call out for Tia. Like seeing her fixated on this bubble. She doesn't respond. Cadmus. As you're looking at Cadmus. I was going to say, if I see them fixating on bubbles, mm -hmm. like my one, and knowing what my one showed, mm -hmm. I'm going to fling my hammer through them. Sounds good. Uh, so, and now, Cadmus, real quick, just yeah. because that had already happened. You see him fixated. And it's not the image. It's not a... Where Tia's is a sequence of events that seems logical. Cadmus's is a simple repetitive motion. As you look in it, you can feel the creaking of leather gloves. You can smell sweat, cold sweat, the kind of sweat you get from hiking the mountains, the sweat that you remember the smell of from your time in Steep Hollow. And what you see is thick leather gloves and frail fingers, thinner fingers, tracing through them with a hurried jerk. As they grasp, and the sight of auburn hair streaked with gray fading into blackness. And it loops. Uh, I need to make a wisdom save. Hey, I did it. Uh, make me a wisdom save, Tia. Sure. Sounds great. All right. Uh, the bubbles will pop and both you and Cadmus will come out and uh, you will see that Cadmus's cheeks uh, above his beard are streaked with fluid. Like they're streaked with tears. Um, is Tia? Or is it just stinging and hollow? Probably that one. Okay. A bit numb. Pick a door and let's get out of here. Uh, Winter, you, uh, pardon me, Mars is still hanging out on the statue? Yep, is so there, she, is she there... got up to being, like, almost, like, piggybacked on her shoulders and be like, All right, Ishar, my girl, show me if you got any more secrets for me. Okay. And she's, like, whispering that to the statue. That's when Mars gets off his kill. It's, I mean, yep, there, there's... Yeah. Accurate. Uh, accurate. Entirely. Uh, make me an investigation roll. Investigation, mm -hmm. 12. As you are atop her, you can see that her hair has been carved and is a beautiful cascade of mm -hmm. curls and, and just waves and waves of quartz hair that flows all the way down to her ankles. Oof. Apparently it was the fashion back in the day. Nicely done carving, too. Incredible carving. Even the hairpin. That looks like a real hairpin. It does, actually. It looks like a real hairpin. You can even see the seams around it. Um, roll me again, actually. You would have advantage on this. Oh, advantage? Mm-hmm. Due to your background, yeah. Uh, yeah, that does a lot better. Uh, 22. It is carved out of pink moonstone. Whereas the rest of it is pink quartz? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't have been able to see this had you not climbed on its back. 
but looking down, Mars can see that this hairpin is rose gold and moonstone. And it juts into the back of the statue's skull like a dagger. It doesn't look like it belongs here, though. Mm, it looks like it was built into the statue, but it looks like it could easily be removed. Does it look like someone else put this here? Like it wasn't meant to be here? Like as part of the overall look of the statue? If it Are wasn't meant to be... No. Okay. With that, you will hear a grinding noise, and the lower exit shuts. That's what we keep in? Yep. Right, okay. You're committed now. Yep, okay. Uh, you are going to pull it out, and it is a long spike, about four inches long. That was just like, into mm -hmm. her head. Almost like a key. And as it comes out, you will see that it's sharp. Sharp enough you could use this as a weapon in close range. But it's obviously some type of... You're actually not sure. This You thought it was rose gold looking at it. But now that you're holding it up, make me... Like this long about? Or long? Yeah. It's a be basically, picture that um, with a brooch head at the end of about this big. Think of it like... It's almost shaped like... Like, I'm imagining something like one of those ones that has, it, like, the little combs. Like, it's kind of T-shaped. Yeah. Almost like it had, like, a button with a with a stake coming out the bottom. It's like a golf tee. Okay. I was trying to think, of, like, of those things that, like, with the peely bits that you can use to make binders. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. It yeah. doesn't feel like gold, though. It feels harder than gold. Can so you make me another investigation roll now that you have this in your hand? Nineteen. You're not 100% sure what this is. It's gold, but it's not gold. It's like gold, but different. Yeah, oh, sorry. And it's pretty sharp. As you trace the tip of it along your finger, a little drop of dark blood will appear. Xeno, what are you doing? Um, it's probably moving towards the open door. <laughs> All right, so you're... So I was... Gonna go towards the open door, but then I was thinking, wait a moment, <laughs> trickster face said go left. Hmm. Should we trust him or take the open door? I think it was when there was... Oh, are you saying that out loud? Yeah. Was that only when... Do we want to try opening the middle door? Sure. How does it even open? I will go up to the middle door and pop her open. All right. Uh, it has a single ring that you can just twist and push. All right. Uh, okay. What's your wisdom save? Um, <laughs> wisdom save. No, no, just what's your, what's the score? Oh, uh, six. Okay. You will pop the door open. And on the other side, there is a small but comfortable room. Looking in, you think it's probably a good way to go. Do I see any other doors? small room, he said. You don't see any other rooms, but you do see that the floor is completely lined with beautiful flowers. So this feels like a good, a good direction to go. It smells wonderful in here. The walls themselves are encroached with vines. It's draped with this canopy of sweet smells. And as the door opens to you, you will see hands reaching out from the petals on the floor, pale, 
white hands, mm. feminine, reaching up for you. Mm. In the corner, darker, tanned, drowish black, feminine, some masculine, all hands and arms reaching out for you, beckoning you. I think I'm going to back away from that. I think that I need you to make me a... Uh, oh, a, a wisdom save? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh. Uh, 23. Okay. 20, is, is that a pass? I, I hope so. Okay. Me too. Uh, you, me sometimes too. you're not sure with these things. I'm Zeno. gonna reach for the door and close it as I back up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we want to go that way. Okay, well I guess. More of these bubbles are coming. Uh, let's go this way then. I mean, unless we can somehow force this door. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Cadmus is going to walk up to the door and slam his foot against it. This one? The yeah, one the one that you're at. He'll walk by, lean back, and slam his foot into it. It's going to pop open about an inch before something goes and slams it shut. I don't think it wants us going that way. Christine, can Mally make me a check, please? Uh, I just, just quick, actually, your perception is 15. Yeah. You will hear in Celestial, no. <laughs> no. I will walk no. over that door and ask, why not? In Celestial. Impropriety. Are you accusing me of being improper, sir? Me who speaks Celestial? A cleric? No, 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 no. As there's like a little gremlin up on your step. What's it saying? Really hasn't said much yet. Come on, we want to come this way. I don't trust that face over there. I don't trust any of this. I'm saying this all in celestial. I think that's fair that Cadmus might still say that. Okay. I don't trust any of this. <laughs> yeah. Slightly different inflection. More bubbles. <laughs> He'll go around popping them with that short sword you gave him. What do the rest of you do? You're standing at the door? Yeah. There's no response from inside. I will try and push it open again. All right. As you push it open, can I get... Is anybody helping push it open? I'm going to try. I'm, sure. like, I'm right there. Might as well. All right. Both of you give me a strength check. Uh, who is primary and who is helper? Uh, I'm probably primary. Probably. I think your strength is higher right What now. are you trying to do? Me? Yeah, Mars. Oh, once I'm well, satisfied with what I've rolled So you roll with there. advantage? Well, so I'm satisfied with, like, getting the pointy thing out. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Do you drop down? I'm about to. I'm going to, like, kind of, like, go, like, boop with her in temple. Be like, thank you, sweetheart. And then come down and then push the arm back up. All right. The jaw will shut. And the bubbles will stop issuing out. She still moves around you in the room. Follows you. I would... Did you roll with advantage? No, I didn't. All right. Is that for me? Yep. Because yeah. I rolled well. Uh, 23. All right. So you're going to manage to push it open uh, a full... Damn. Uh, a full three feet. Um, at which point you're going to see that there is a large white gloved hand about the size... About the size of a halfling on the other side, pushing on the door. It is not attached to anything. It is a gloved hand disconnected from anything except for the barest mode of starlight. And it pushes on the door with great strength. Uh, but you are beating it. Do you want to roll one more time? Sure. Do I have advantage again? Uh, if Amy rolls well, yeah. yeah. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Yeah. What am I adding to this? Just strength? Yep. Um, 14, uh, 15. 15? So you'll have advantage on this. Mm. Oh, no. Did you roll a two? No. Because I didn't. <laughs> I rolled a 16 and I had four for that. 
cool. I rolled a one. <laughs> no. Um, so with with a great uh, burst of strength, you are going to slam the door wide open, um, and it's going to just spring back. the The hand is going to lose its grip and be flattened between the wall. And it is going to flop to the floor. Uh, I gotta move this real quick. So you moved away from there and are now over here. And this room is. a long hallway. Wow, that's really off center. It's the camera's fault. Just blame the camera. That's true. All right, so the the door is going to swing wide open, smashing the hand against the wall, and it's going to drop with a thud. I do not have a small hand, uh, so in that case, I'm just going to use this furniture pad that I have, okay. which is going to flop to the ground and very, very quickly try to scramble itself to its feet. It's just a hand. It is a hand that is about three feet wide. It is going to s hop to its feet. Hmm? Feet. Well, it's oh, fingers. Digits. Look up at you. Hello. What eyes? Jump back. Float in the air. <laughs> and take off running down the hall unless you stop it. I'm gonna yell after. I didn't mean to. Improper. Improprietous. Rude. Bad gesture was it? Valia is just screaming in celestial. What? What are you that saying? Really What's it saying? Dominus. Rex Omniso. Well, I guess let's go this way. Ugh, sure. Um, what is... Do I know what that thing is? Do any of us know what that thing is? That's really weird. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea. It's a giant hand. Really weird. It runs down the hallway, and then uh, just over to the corner here, uh, there is a slight alcove carved into the wall. It jumps into it, and a slate of... Um, a, uh, a patch of stonework descends like a... Like a um, almost like a dumbwaiter slide, mm -hmm. closing it into the wall, and it will remeld with the stonework, hmm. effectively cutting off any chase. Hmm. Okay. Of course, if you have any spells or a pickaxe, you might be able to follow it. All right. You never know with D&D. &D. Um, but the hall keeps going. The hall does keep going. And you just made a lot of noise, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Final room. Well, let's get going, guys. Sounds good. I will make some chalk marks in the room and in the hall. Sounds like a plan. So we decided to go down hand hall. Mm -hmm. It's going down hand hall. <laughs> Let us continue. Carry on. My wayward hand. You continue down the hall, walking in a staunch arc. There we go. What? Oh, because it bleeds off the screen slightly. Well, I can How fix dare it. it. I can fix it, Felix. I, I can fix it. Uh, it's All right, so continuing down the way, you are going to... Oop. There we go. Oof. No, it's better. There you go. There, now I can actually see the damn thing. Success. Okay. So, uh... Sorry for those of you listening at home. So continuing down the hallway, mm -hmm. you will, oh, hands gone, uh, you will slowly make your way down. And as you do, 
you will find that the room ahead of you opens up wide. The room itself is about 30 feet wide. About 40 feet wide, actually. By about... It's about 50 feet wide by about 30 feet wide. With another door leading off the edge at the end. There we go. And as well, a pair of doors leading off the center. Now, as you approach this room, you'll notice that it's quite flooded. Yeah. I don't know what just fell over, but I'm sure I don't need it. Oh, just a bunch of stuff just fell over. There we go. As you approach, you'll see that the entire center section of the floor is recessed, perhaps, perhaps a foot or so. There are dozens and dozens of large gold coins, about as wide around as a child's palm, decorating the center area, strewn about this recessed pool. As you step inside of the room, is who, anyone stepping inside? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so Mal, assuming Mally is going first, you'll notice that the door is wide open. And as you step inside, this tremendous door, almost a double door by itself, looks that... The inside of the, the door is weathered from having a significant amount of water against it for years and years and years, uh, so much so that it actually is slanted as the water slowly was eroding away the stone. But as you step inside, Malia, with your knowledge of stonework, you'll see that the outside, the outside is straight to the floor, flush. There's a sharp angle there from the erosion. This door has been opened within recent memory. Glancing around inside of the room, you can see that there are those other two doors, as well as all of, uh, God, almost, let's find out, mm, about, about 80 gold coins spread around the pit. Uh, I'm, so those doors at the top, are they two separate doors beside each other or a double door? They are double doors. Okay. <laughs> Dungeon cam is a good idea, but it's very complex and the camera is backwards from what I remember it. So there are a pair of doors here and a pair of doors here. How do you do it? I'm just going to move, I'm going to leave this door wide open like that. Uh, I'm going to walk around it. Sure, that sounds great. So, for sake of argument, I will just represent... So there's a pile of gold coins laying in the center of the pool here, like a wishing well. And walking around, you'll slosh through water that's about about to your ankle bone deep. You won't seep through your boots at all. Do you head to the left or the right? Uh, I'll head left. Going the far way around? Yeah. Uh, as you move across this way, you will notice that there is... There's a lever on the wall with a plaque written in Celestial. See? Bees. 
It appears to be in the off position. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Is there a question mark on the bees? There is not. Okay, the rest of you, what? Listen. Do not touch this lever. Do not let Mars touch this lever. We do not want bees. Bees? Bees? I don't know. It says bees. I have no desire to deal with a swarm of bees. Don't touch the effing lever. Mars, don't release the bees. Bees can't survive down here. Magic. Right. Uh, I mean, if this uh, lever specifically says bees... In Celestial. In... Yeah. Don't touch it. I'm going to assume Why? bees. Just, just don't touch it. Okay, well, what do the other doors say? I don't know. I haven't gotten over there yet. Just don't touch it. Okay. Don't let Mars touch it either. What was that, Kelly? Tree cabin, because it looks cool. We don't want to pull the wrong lever. And don't let Mars touch the coin. Any lever is the wrong lever. Probably. Mars can hear you. Okay, well, Mars, don't touch anything. Okay, okay. Including okay. the coins in what looks like the wishing well. They're probably cursed. Don't probably. do it. But they're also huge. Like, just, have just, you seen that before? No, but just don't do it. Do you want bees because this is how you get bees? No, no, no. Do you want a curse? Because you already have one. You don't need more. Those coins do look pretty good, though. Don't you do it. No, I mean, like, they look weird. What do you mean? Yeah. They're big. Yeah. They're big. Yeah, they look like they're made of gold. Yes. Uh, yes. Do you want a curse? Because that's how you get, get a curse. I don't know how much experience you have with curses. Where would the water have come from? What's that? Can I find where the water would come from? Sure. If there's, ahead. like, faucets or if it would, like, almost come magically. As if it doesn't have a source. Make me an investigation roll. Heck. Tia's gonna go check out the far Ooh, that hurt. The one up opposite. This one? Yeah, Tia's gonna go check it out. How do you get there? Fifteen. Just walk around. Probably take the left. Wait, invest right, did you say investigation? Yes, I did. Nineteen. Nineteen? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Actually, it would make more sense to go check out the double wood doors first. Fantastic. One moment, please. There were three doors going off this turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's two. Well, plus the one that we came in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I misunderstood that. And there you we the go. Doors already, or did you just insert No, it? I've just gone over there. Okay. All right. Uh, perfect. Um, as you wander over that way, Mars will squat down behind you and look at the floor, and as she does, she'll notice that it looks like there's a bit of a rim underneath here that the water is flowing through kind of like a like a swimming pool how under the there's got that extra little lining yeah huh. it looks like it's flowing from somewhere else in this temple the water smells kind of stagnant Ew. and aside from the bit the, like the coins and some rotting petals mm -hmm. it seems you wouldn't want to drink out of this are you close to where i'm at I think I'll ask you. Tia, as you walk past... I'll, I'll say it loud enough so that maybe it, it like even echoes through the sure. cup. Sure, what do you say? Cool. Be like, hey, there's this weird lining on the inside of the pool. Like, there's like a lip that goes around. The water doesn't look so good. Huh. Come on. As... But it comes from somewhere else. Could we begin closer... Finding these tears or whatever? I have no idea. As I hope the tears don't, like, taste like how this looks. It looks bad. Tia. Yeah. Uh, yep. What am I doing? Am I... Oh, damn. Am I rolling something or uh, no? No, no, no need. No oh, need, no, no need. Uh, um, yikes. Cool, 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 cool. Um, as you are walking there, um, your passive perception is not good enough for this. Okay. Um, as you were walking around, you were going to notice the stonework. The marble actually is fairly... Uh, Sorry, that was me. Fairly rickety around the corner. And you can actually see places where 
It's grown pockmarked. Mm. As you step over them, something inside of the pock marks reaches up and slithers up your leg. Ew. Uh, I need oh. you to do me a big favor. Oh. <laughs> uh, and that's, I need d6s for this. Oh, what do I do? Do, 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 do. Saving cover to take damage or something. Gonna, several things. Okay, cool. Have fun. Cool, cool, cool. Yikes. All right, so that's going to be... Okay. Uh, you're going to take... Uh, it's going to slam into your thighs, uh, <laughs> bruising into your quads. Uh, you're going to take six points of bludgeoning damage and eight points of acid damage. Oh! I was going to say, it's the second... Ow! Hit? Are you wearing metal armor? No. Are you allergic to right. bees? Uh, bee stings. This is an EpiPen. So... Uh, you, no metal on your armor? Perfect. I'm leather. Yeah. Perfect. Um, as it splashes up into you. I'm out of studded leather, but it would be higher up. Um, it's going to touch on a couple of the. Do, is it studded leather? I'm just inserting. It's, yeah, studded leather. Okay. That's body, not like legs or anything. Like All right. Whatever. So as it splashes a little bit on one of the studs, you'll see it melt and dissolve into liquid. Oh. Oh. And it splashes up at you. Can I get initiative off of people? Yeah, sure. That sounds oh, great. That's oh, hey. And you know what I roll on my initiative? And that is what is coming up at you. Ugh. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Yikes here. Uh, so I got a six and a three. All right, count me down. 20 are up. 21. Okay, this is your game today, isn't it? Uh, 15 and up. Wow. 17. What'd you get? Eight. Two. Oh, what? I rolled a one plus one. That's your initiative? Yep. It's Dude, two. That's, that stinks. Heck. Yep. I'm a little alarmed by being fizzled. Alright, Malia, you're going yeah, to hear uh, you're going to hear a jolt as uh, she surges back against whatever is trying to climb up her legs and yeah. dissolve her. Uh, it is a strange gelatinous membrane that is reaching up out of the floor. All right. Um, can it's a big note for me. I cast and try and identify what it is? Uh, yes. Okay. You will have disadvantage on the trying to figure out what it is, though. Okay. Um, what That's did nice. I roll? You will make me a knowledge <laughs> aberration. Oh, knowledge, uh, knowledge nature. And I'm going to represent this with this brown figure thingy. Fourteen. Fourteen? Uh, it is an ooze. All right. Mm -mm. Do I know uh, anything about what can damage them? Uh, lots of stuff. Gray ooze. Um, uh, you do not want to use acid, cold, or fire. Okay. Uh, and magical weapons are preferable. Um, it needs to make a deck save. Oh, 16. Okay. At a minus two dex. Boom! It. That's my Uzi boy! Alright, I don't do anything then. I don't know, it, it doesn't make any sense what I really close to. They're not talking about us at all. Okay. Alright, so what do you do? How much is, or does it do any damage? No, I don't do anything. All right. It, it avoided it completely. Oh, yikes. That sucks. Let's see, yikes. <clears throat> All right, next down the list, we are going to Xenoprian Right Wing. What do you Yay. do, Zeno? Uh, I'm going to pull out my... Uh, did you share the, that information about what it is and magical weapons? I didn't hear her say it. Um, at the time, I was... Like, All right. So, what, what would you use for that? What? For for the did you use to hit it? I didn't hit it. But you tried to. Would yeah. So I tried the sacred flame. Camera. Okay. I just didn't hear you call out sacred flame. So, all right. So you cast sacred flame and it manages to ooze out of the way somehow. Um, Zeno. Um, I will also do a roll to figure out what it is. Okay. Uh, disadvantage on that one because yep. I also want to attack. Yeah. I think it's an ooze. And I have no idea. 
If you have no idea, you probably want to shoot it. I got a, I got a three, so. All right, go ahead and roll uh, an attack against me. I am going to roll. <coughs> I'm actually, I'm pretty close to this thing, I think. Mm, oh no, you I'm are, three squares away. You are at the door. Yeah, so I'm what, uh, five, ten, fifteen, eight, twenty feet away. Mm-hmm. Okay, so shooting it sounds good. Sure. Um. Okay, I'll make two attacks on it. All right. Well, you get you get three oh, yeah, in the I first do. round of combat. So I do. All right, come on, guys, wake up. All right. Um. So that's gonna be. Do do. Where's my cheat sheet? Here it is. Ah, uh, that's going to be a. 15, 17. That's a hit. Uh, and then the one, oh, the rest of them are over that. That's so. going to be three hits. Cool, three hits. Do, do, do. Okay, let me get this. Do, do, do. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, yeah, I do need that. How do I not have piercing resistance? Two, three, four. All right. And this will be piercing damage. Sounds good. You'd think that I would have immunity to piercing damage since I'm an ooze, but no. Y you'd think, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, 13, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 27. All right. Um, so, you're going to just fire three arrows in rapid succession <laughs> into this creature. Um, Amy, arrows are going to skim over Tia's legs. And this thing is going to erupt and splatter against the wall. Um, and you're going to watch the three arrows dissolve into ash in front of you. Is it dead? Uh, it dissolves in front of your eyes. I think so. Right then. Probably more oozes around here. Probably. I got you. Thanks. Are we out of combat? Mm-hmm. That's very right. okay. So anything... For I've never seen that before. What was that? For future reference. That was an ooze. Um, don't let touch metal. Um, yeah. Magic is good. They generally... I forgot what the resistances were. Fire, cold, and acid. Fire, cold, and acid. So just don't use those on it? Yeah. Try to avoid that. Okay. Um, so just avoid it? Avoid stabbing it with your weapons if they're not magical. They'll probably, like, do what the other arrows just did. Ah. Okay. Right. Good yeah. to know. Huh. Even magic. I would be I would be reluctant to, like, hit it with a weapon. Uh. Okay. Probably gonna lose that weapon. Well, the only thing I can think of is like my dagger, but that means I've had to get really close to it, and it's an ooze. ooze. It oozes. Yes. All right. With that, I'm gonna move up to the top doors there. <clears throat> um, those, though, yeah, those ones. The ones that I was, I'm closest. Yeah. To? Okay. Those? Correct. I will continue to proceed closer to them as well. Uh, and I'm go. I would like to do like perception or investigation or something on these. Sure, sounds good. Uh, investigation. That sound. Are you just trying to listen to the other side? Uh, I'm just looking at the door and sure. and I'll take a listen and see if I can that hear. That sounds anything. great. Um, That's pretty much and I don't think ahead. I can. Uh, investigation. That's going to be a twelve. Uh, well, I rolled a nine. Um, investigation on this one, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> All right. Ten. The door appears to be exactly that. Just a pair of doors with rings. That will open inward to this room. Interesting. What is Mars doing? Can I do more investigating of the area? You can do whatever you like. What would you like to do? What would you like to investigate here? Um, where did that ooze come out from? It looked like just a wet spot on the floor. Ah. The ceiling does look kind of moist. Hey guys. What? Yep. The ceiling above you is quite slick from evaporation. 
it's very dank in here and very humid. And as you move, you will feel this just moistness kind of ooze over your skin. Mm. It's like being in a pool. Mm. Hey, Malia, you have a, uh, a shield, yeah? Do you use shield? Yeah. Maybe put it over your head. Okay. Right. Do we want to just get out of this room? Get yeah. Go out of this door? Yeah. I will open the door. Sure. All right, uh, you open the door and find that it leads to a nondescript square room. Hmm. Well, the doors won't, hey, you know what, I'm just gonna leave, whatever. That's fair. All right. What you can see is at the center of the room is a large pillar with ornate imagery on it, as well as a mosaic that lines the back wall. And no other doors? No other doors there, but there's something brilliant and shining in the soft glow from the walls. Huh. I go and investigate it. All right. <laughs> Careful. I'll, I'll try. Ganymus will follow you, actually, because glitter. You know like it's it's all here? over in the walls? No, that center pillar. Oh, it's in it's, the center. It looks like it's lined with silver and gold. How large around is it? Mm, about, about five feet. Oh, okay. And there's, like, markings in it? Like, yeah, actually, imagery? It looks like... It almost looks like imagery from a romance novel. Sorry, what? A, a romance, romance novel. novel. People holding hands, people blushing and covering their faces. Hearts, live bodies pressed against each other in the swirling marble. Uh. In an outlay, a uh -huh. relief of silver. Okay, okay, okay. Are there more of those flowers in here? Yes, there are. Are they just as rotten looking as all the others? Not all of them seem rotten, just the ones just the ones in that uh, fountain. Oh, well that's nice. What are the rest of you doing? Um, I was going to investigate the door in front of me to see if it looked like it had been opened recently. Uh, it does. Okay. Hmm. It looks like, um, make me an investigation roll. So... While she's doing that, Tia, you're over here. Yeah, I'm, uh, 14. Does there seem like... I guess I'm trying to figure out if there's any clear... There's any clear, like, markings of passage, really. Like, tracks. Over at this door? Yeah, I want to see if anyone's been going in around this area. Mm, you'll see there's... It looks like there's been some disturbance in the petals on the floor. And Zeno, you'll notice that as well, looking down with your tracker's eye. Those petals have been disturbed. There's a footprint through them. Looks like le leading into this room and kind of around the pillar. I go around the pillar and then back out? I don't know. Uh, I, will, <laughs> I will we'll go in. Okay. Tia. I'm not particularly interested in leaving someone in another room, so I'll hang out by the door and just keep looking Malia, around. Malia, as you squat down, you're going to notice that there's some damage done to the door around the handle. It looks like it's been frozen. It's not cold at the moment, but that a sudden freeze that causes the stonework to chip and break, you will recognize that from your time growing up under, under dwarven craftsmen. Looks like signs of a, a struggle here recently. Which I am still holding my shield above my head, like mm -hmm. Mars said. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to call up to explain all that. Hey, it looks like there's been a struggle here. Um, I think this door may have been opened. Forced oh. open? Well, uh, opened. Wanderlust probably came this way. Mm. Mm. Uh, 
hearing that, um, I'm probably gonna leave that top room. I want to do like a quick look around, see if there's anything like other than the pillar that's interesting in here. But then I'm gonna head back out. Sure. Sounds good. Um, you can see that there are a number of gems embedded in the side of this pillar that Mars is looking at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to go up to Mars and say, hey, we're not taking anything except what we came to take. Don't try the gems out. Have you seen this mural? What does the mural look like? Along the back wall, you can see that there is a mural of, you would guess Ishar. It's her divided up into three different forms, spectral entities of her domains, you would imagine. The relief is quite well done. It's not bad stonework. Especially considering the age. But there doesn't look like there's a door in this room, so... I of think course there doesn't look like there's one. Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't mean there's not one. So you followed footsteps? Yeah, I'm in the room. Okay. Look. Where do they lead to? Around the pillar. Okay, I followed the footsteps. They walk all around the room and definitely to this. And as you approach, Cadmus is going to look down and point, and you'll see that there's a blossom that's sticking out from under the wall. <laughs> so how does it open? Investigation? You Would I get... I'd not wouldn't be like an advantage or anything in investigation with it. No. I don't think so. Ten. Fifteen. Ten. Fifteen? You can see that there are a number of... There are a number of runes carved in this wall, mm -hmm. each on their own blocks. Mm -hmm. They're in that language that you don't understand. Heck. Okay. But each one of them is on their own... There must be... About twenty of them carved here. Okay. Malia! What? Can you read this? I would go over and go in. Okay. All right. Tia, what do you do? Malia walks past you into this room. I keep a lookout, but step into the room so we're all in the Sounds good, and oh, no. that is the weight limit. Um, <laughs> all right, as you step into the room, the door behind you is going to slam shut, yep. and you will hear a, me a mechanism click, 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 and, and then try and open the doors. <laughs> it is completely sealed overhead. Oh, you no. will hear this voice cry out in Celestial, which you will recognize immediately. And actually, all of you, make me a history roll, please. History. Yep. History. Nope. Yeah. No. Eleven. All right. Oh, they just had oh, five. No. <laughs> All right, overhead, you will hear. Nine. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Oh, six. Shit. What? Five. Four. Glancing around, I can want everyone to make me a perception roll. Uh, Eleven. All I right. rolled a two, so let's say, let's say, uh, an eight. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-three? All right. Uh, glancing around, you can see that as this thing is... Stop kicking the microphone and everything. As everything, as this voice is ringing out, a pair of gems is blinking on the central pillar in time with the voice. Their big red, a big <laughs> red gem is blinking. It goes in, and the voice, three, zero, 20, 19, What did you do eight, with the other one? 30, 29, 28, 
27. Count down. 26. Right, 27. 25. Click it again. 24. Which one's doing 30. Okay. 29. 28. I don't know what's going 27. On. 26. I'm going to go look for flashing things. If that's what it looks Every like. Every time you do it, it resets to 30 seconds. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Good to oh, know. to a count of 30. Okay. Um, read this quick. I'll poke the button. You read 29, the things. 29. 28. 27. What's the read? Glancing at this, you can see there's a mural with the goddess being represented in three different forms, all of them facing away, reaching up toward the sky, or doing different, doing different um, poses, and basically like it's the different domains. You've seen that a lot of gods use this type of motif. Mm -hmm. Along the wall, you can see that there's night, battle, love, war, hope, prosperity, justice. Trickery, chaos, dreams, marriage, lightning, fire, prosperity, I don't know if I already said that, healing, and quite a few more. Each all on their own symbol, or pardon me, on their own stones on the wall. What, make, what did you need for this red for? Like, well, I can't read it. Yeah, Maybe what's a, the point? Is I, it a puzzle? Does it need to be rearranged? I don't know. For what? I don't know. 10, to stop this 9, from what? Eight, 30, 29. You're learning your numbers in Celestial. Sweet. <laughs> oh. Well, there's got to be a way to stop this. Well, Mars, what did you like, like, What did you find in here that needed to the, be... You found something before you. Oh yeah, right. Sledge. That. Cool. And I started looking under where I was a second ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything under? No, it just looks like the wall had shut on some of them. On some of the petals. Mm-hmm. You know something is to open there. What's the key? Oh, I have this. Okay. Can I find where like this could be like jammed or something or? I am watching Mars do a bunch of shit, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, she doesn't communicate. She starts stabbing the wall, and like... <laughs> Mars, what are what you are doing? You? Make me a disabled device roll. <laughs> with disadvantage. <laughs> Mars, now is not the time! He's looking for a hole to stick this in. I'm like, it's a, it looks like a key! So what would be a disabled advice? <laughs> Sure. Oh, Mars, why are you messing with device. the wall? I don't know. It looks like it, it came down. Look, it doesn't look it does, like there's a it, hole what? here. Okay. What uh, is going okay. on? Okay. Stop yelling at me. I'm getting freaked out. Sorry. So I'm very confused now. So okay. like, it looks like something came down. It looks like something. Like it looks like a door in the wall shut, on top of some of these paddles. Like someone traipsed them inside the other side of a fake door mm -hmm. or a wall. And then the wall shut on top of them. Like, so it, like it's like if we close that door and there was a pedal sticking up from underneath of it. Mm -hmm. Like a footprint. So I'm trying to find a way of like getting this door to go back. Okay, you've not explained any of this to Malia. Okay, yeah, that's why she's going. What the fuck? Okay, like yeah, what so are you doing? Why okay. are you fussing yeah. with the wall? Yeah. I Sorry, it's just here. like what I was hearing from you and what I was hearing from Kelly was like yeah. sounded of two very different things. So I was getting very confused and like anxious. Yeah. Okay. And it's all yeah. of us going, Matt. So Mars, looking around, it doesn't look going? like there's a hole that's going to fit this brooch pin. Okay, thing. so then I'll stop doing that. But I'll explain that okay. the way that <laughs> these are crushed, there's got to be a way to open it. Yeah, it's like, wait, what? Yeah, look. Oh, so it's a door. Oh. Door. Oh, it's there's a, a door in the wall. Yeah, that's what there. I said. There's a door there. See, it shuts. It shut on the pedals. Yeah. Okay. Like, you can oh, tell by looking at it. I was in the other room. And that's why yeah. I said to come, like, look at this and see if you maybe there's a way to, like, push buttons to open the door. You didn't explain that part of it. I'll look at them. Click. Look at the thing. <laughs> 29. These are all aspects. 28. Um, aspects of what? Is there a particular sequence? That's what I was thinking, but I can't read Her. it. She's got three aspects. Uh-huh. Shit, uh, what were they? Uh, beauty. Dreams. Beauty. Quick. Beauty. Uh. What was the last one? War? No. I got nothing. Um, purity? Alright, and as you push them, the stones will click in, 
and the uh, the back wall will swing open, uh, revealing that it is a small chamber about about as long as I need it to be. Damn, nope. Mm. Well, that didn't work. Uh, a small chamber, barely 15 feet wide by about five feet deep. That is, oh, you're over here, you're over here. Um, that looks like a small confessional or prayer room. Oh no. I will walk into it. Sure. Is, can I find anything else? 29! 28! I keep, follow. Keep doing what you're doing there, Zeno. You're doing good work. Stepping into the room, can I get everyone to make me a, another investigation roll? Except for our boy, because he's a natural 20. Are you still, you're still pushing buttons. I'm pushing buttons. All right. But as soon as we walk out, does it stop? Nope. Okay. So. Investigation? Yep. Mm -hmm. 17. All right. So looking around, um, I'll start with Tia. Tia sees that there is an old stone shelf, almost like, um, it's almost like, like a vanity. But it's a double-sided vanity, where you can sit basically at either side of it, like so, looking at the mirror there or looking at the mirror there. But descended between them is a single mirror that's fixed. That's affixed uh, between them. You can see a very skeletal, or me, spectral outline of whoever is on the other side of the mirror as you look through. You two, however, are going to notice that. And it's embossed with a number of uh, runes and celestial. You'll see that those runes are the runes for... They're words for things like honesty and togetherness and things like that. But what you'll both see basically at the same time is that there is a drawer in either side of this vanity um, and it has been completely ransacked someone has already gotten in here and busted in and taken whatever was belonging to it <laughs> however in their hurry to do that they didn't see that one of the floor tiles isn't flush as you pry it up there is a a small scroll box made of petrified wood laid into a velvet, well, laid into a, a cushion in the floor that somehow magically avoided age. Uh, and inside you will find a scroll. Can I identify it at all? Uh, yes, it is the scroll Legend Lore. It's a level five cleric spell that allows you to gain information on one subject so long as it would have a legend. It's force information from the DM, the spell. <laughs> So is this something that you cast on this goddess? You could cast on this goddess, you could save it and cast it on basically anyone including like your own goddess and learn all of her dirty secrets. Mm. It's a good spell, look it up, level 5. Okay, I will tuck that in my bag. <clears throat> Alright, and as you're looking around there as well, uh, Mars, mm -hmm. uh, you are going to find that there is a small pouch, a small uh, strange leather pouch full of coins. Looks like some type of tithe. And they just left it here? Mm-hmm. That's odd. What? Well, this place was ransacked, mm -hmm. but they left this pouch of money. I mean, it's in the floorboard. Oh, it's in the floorboard. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was like just sitting out. I'm like Five! Four. I'm, I'm hitting it like every okay. 20. So. Okay, cool, cool. I'll take a look. Sure. See. It's made of... It's 20 gold coins stamped with an insignia that you don't recognize. And four coins made of that same metal. 
that that pin is made of. They're much smaller, about the size of dimes. But they're heavy. Heavier than the full gold coins. Can you do me one favor, Winter? And uh, just make me make me an intelligence check. Intelligence check? Yeah, you can, you can, you'll can. you be proficient in this. So use intelligence plus not oh. advantage. Okay, I was just like... Mm. Just add plus three to the roll on top of your intelligence. 18. Damn. Uh, this looks very similar to some of the metalwork on Malia's hammer. Like the damaged metal on her hammer. Malia, can I see your hammer? Why? Can you hold? Can you hold up your hammer? I won't touch it. Oh. You can see where it has been had been defaced and uh, oh. damaged by the the uh, dark dwarves because I can never pronounce them. Can I identify whatever she's holding up to it? It's a it's a reddish gold coin. You can make me a knowledge. Mm, actually, we don't do knowledge in the system. Man, we're all out of it tonight. Yeah. Yeah. This is really sad because I was really excited for this. Mm -hmm. I'm really tired. I had full energy drink, and I'm really tired. So. Mm. Uh, so this is going to be a um, insight. It's going to be an insight roll. Twenty-two. Stop cramping up. That's the one I added to, so. Uh, it's Ori Halcom. An incredibly rare metal with uh, base magical properties and uh, worth about a hundred times its weight in gold. Ori Halcom? Ori Halcom, yeah. Okay. Or Ori Halcom, or if you pronounce it in the original Greek, weird. Okay. Ori Halcom. <laughs> Baklava. I give you the coins. I hold on to the pointy. It's a good idea. Uh, thank you. It? It's Or Halcom. I can't pronounce it, but. Ori Halcom. Ori Halcom. <laughs> the, the dwarven accent. That, that's Did fun. you spend your inspiration? Nope. I... Okay. Because you would have gotten it back for that. It was, it was, that was awful and lovely at the same time. <laughs> well, that's one step closer to fixing this. I will tuck it in a bag and. Ten, <laughs> nine. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Thirty. Okay. Can I identify what and see if what's if I think that countdown is dangerous? Like if it's going to do something dangerous? Or you, can make, you can make me an insight roll. Yes, please. Uh, twenty. Well, at least you'll be ready for whatever comes through those doors or drops from the ceiling. <sighs> All right. Well. We might as well find out whatever that countdown is going to do. Okay, should we just call sure. everybody in here? Sure. In here? Yeah, Are we all going to fit? We're not going to all fit in here, but we might as well, like, uh, ten, face it, nine, whatever it is. Eight, seven, six, hit the button, elf. Five. Do you want me to hit it or no? Four. Hit it! Quick. Thirty. Twenty-nine. Okay, get your ass in here, all of you. Twenty-seven. Squish, come on. Twenty-six. We, well, we, we can't fight anything if we're squished up in between each other. Ah. So let's just deal. Okay, All right. so we'll just hang out and well, I'm gonna cast a spiritual die. weapon. So okay. I have it ready, just in case. Actually no I'm not. I'm not wasting spell slots, I'll wait. Okay. That sounds good. Bonus action. Yeah. Never mind. I'll have my shield out though. My Nineteen. Uh, let's just hang out. Let's Everybody just... have your weapons out and ready? Yeah. Yeah. So do shink, those do, shink. Those, do those things you're pressing, do they seem like they're like using them up or are they just you just press them again. Oh, you just press it. Hmm. You're not examining the pillar in for the last couple seconds. Two. One. The lights will blink. It's a party. The door opens again. Yep, the door's open. I hate old temples. Eh. Right. What was the point of that? Mm, I'll go back out. Anxiety. <laughs> Probably. Thanks, Reddit. <laughs> the dumbest puzzle ever. <laughs> Although it would allow a priest to, to, like, get into a confessional without being seen. Or hide things in a slot. 
or know the password to get into a very obvious wall. All right, stepping back out into the hallway, you can see that there is, apparently back into the flooded room, mm -hmm. the gold coins still glitter from the bottom of the pool. And over here is that side door. All right, I'm gonna go back to that. Let's go. All right. Other door it is. Other door. A door. A jar. Well, my dice is gone forever. Ooh, my dice. why did you do that? <laughs> Mistakes were made. I had my hand and I scratched my head. And... Just... Was it a d20? <laughs> or yeah, it was a d20. Well. Who is my really nice d20? Oh, no. But do you I, see it? Can you, can you... I mean, it's right beside me. What did you okay. roll? As long as you know where it know. landed. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's uh, probably a nat 20. Uh, watch it. When you lost your scratch roll? Yeah. Uh, I did. Alright, so the doors ahead of you will open with a touch. They're heavy, and it does take a bit of a shoulder to get them more than a crack open. Who's going in first? Eh, I don't know. I'm probably shouldering them open, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm probably helping, so. Okay. We're probably one after another or around the same time. Something like that. Okay, so Zena's in the second row. Mars is in the back? Mm-hmm. He is still still, or, you All know, right. just not first to die. Yeah, the wall gecko. Mars most likely to die from traps triggered by stealing things she should not, but also least likely to die from being ambushed because of enemies in front of her. Although at the same time, very it. low perception. Yeah. Where is my... Oh, here, there. Okay. One moment, please. Oh, no. Oh. Let me on it. It's forbidden. Mm -hmm. That's illegal. That wasn't an actual roll. You're not an actual roll. Uh, I just checked my dice on the table and it was a roll. I know it was a one. Oh, yikes. Ooh. Imagine if that was just like karma. Roll for karma. Every time you roll Wait, a dice, that's the next roll. it does something. What am I doing? I'm dumb tonight. It's for. Yay! Danger of the watches. <clears throat> the goose honks. The dragon says, as you wish. Disappears. And nothing changes. As you step into the room, you can see that there are my notes. There we go. Um, as you step inside of the room, you can see that there is a large expanse. The ceiling above you is vaulted and vanishes into darkness that even your dark vision can't pierce. Ahead of you is a single door. But all around you, you can see there are strange shapes, columns. Casting shadows across the floor. Who's going in first? Um, does it look really dark in this room? Like, can't see well at all? Only if you're trying to look all the way up to the top of the ceiling. The columns disappear into darkness, but that's all. Everything so else is quite visible. I'll wander in. Yep. Cool. I think me and Malia were closest to the front. All and right. The door's open. So yeah, I would step in. All I'm right. I'm going to stick. And make space for you to come in. Like against the walls around the perimeter. Sounds good. Um, as the two of you step inside, mm -hmm. um, you are going to hear, Tang! 
as a tripwire trips <laughs> near your ankles. Yikes. I'm going to jump backwards. Nothing happens. What do you do? You're sneaking in? Mm -hmm. As you head inside, you can see that there's a second tripwire. Thin piece of fishing line, about five feet ahead of that first triggered one. Alright, watch your step. There's another one right there. And is there another one five feet from that one? Huh? Okay. Name me an insight roll. Since I'm also proficient in. Hey! 24. You start to step over this one. And then you glance back and see how sloppy the knot work is. How obviously this catches the light. And how that first one was really, really well hidden. Either this wasn't done by the same person, or it definitely was. I let that thought out. And I don't keep stepping. I just have, like, one foot, like, One foot suspended. into the grave? Like, <laughs> what say you? Uh, I'm gonna inspect this and see if I just makes any sense to me at all. Like, what? <laughs> I am naturally flamingo. Sure. Sounds good. You have advantage on flamingoing. Oh, sorry. You do, William. Because we're a pink team. <laughs> I don't even know. Naturally flamingo. Oh I want to be naturally flamingo. Um, can I roll a perception check on, on this? See I if am. I can see if, they, oh. if it goes anywhere? I have no idea. I rolled a four. Sure. Alright, I will do that. Yeah. So from where you're seeing it, Mars, you can see that it does wrap around the column. Mm -hmm. This goes somewhere. 24. But, but so does that first one. Mm -hmm. 24? 24. You, you can see that this wraps around the column in some way. Uh, it's hard to tell without walking past it. Does it go like the entire span of the room? Mm-hmm. Can it I does. follow it instead of stepping oh, over it? Well, I can just... If I have my laser pointer, mm. I yeah. can show you the world. I've got an extra laser pointer right here, Kelly. I think that I will just lose it, though, if because I can't hold on to anything mm. tonight. All right, throw it to me. Let's do this. I did it. Uh, so, the, so it goes across here, wrapping around. Uh-huh. Mm the side of the pillar, mm -hmm. but it's also fixed to the walls with oh. pittons before it does so, creating kind of a, a triangle pattern. The first one had the same thing. The pittons still lodged in the old stonework. Okay. But that has been sprung. Mm -hmm. But nothing happened. That we could tell. Nothing happened and that has me concerned. Can I carefully look at the rest of the room, looking for the same sort of strings, traps? You spend a minute doing so, and you don't think you see any. I'm going to pull a small something like a rock from my bag, or from if I see something nearby, cast light on it, and throw it up as hard by high as I can to see if there's any traps in the ceiling that are going to come down on us. Um, sounds good. <laughs> so, as you throw it up to the ceiling, you will see that there is... It goes up about 40 feet, and then you will see the tips of a bunch of spikes. <gasps> there is a trap. You would say probably about 40 swords worth of blades up there. Mostly focused on the inside of the column. But some on the outsides? No. 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 So entirely on the inside. So... Alright, so why don't we step out of the room and I'll try and just shoot that tripwire to set it off. Or just go around the outside? I mean, we 
try to see if it sets it off. Sure. Make me a perception. What's your perception? Uh, actually, you know what? You got a really good roll with it. You guys oh, really, that was a good idea. Insight is great. So the ceiling is shaped like this. As in, the hole is shaped like this. As in... So it wouldn't fit. Like it's convex. So, anyway. The rock that you throw clatters down to the center here. Okay, but only... Oh, so the, the edges of the ceiling would come all the way down into the edges the sides? The sides, and then when the... Um, see, we're all really dumb tonight. Um, basically, it's beveled, mm -hmm. so that um, it's almost like a chimney, right? How it kind of goes in, mm -hmm. and then the part with the columns is thinner than the outside, and the, the roof is actually slightly slanted in toward it. Oh, okay. So that blade would come down in the middle, and the ceiling would come down on the side and crush us? No. Oh. No, this is kind of weird. Like, you'd What's be the point totally of safe if you're on the outside? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay, well, but that's, a, that's a perception. What to, to give you a good example? Um, I rolled a six. Can so. I crawl? <laughs> I'll just crawl on my hands and knees, be like, oh. swords fall, everyone dies. Well, why don't I just set it off while we're not here? Well, it might become impassable then if it is. Mm. That's true. So, I mean, if that's there, the case, I to give just, you like, shift and scoot. to give you an idea of how the roof mm -hmm. is shaped. So like you guys are walking flat here, there are columns, the roof kind of juts in, and then there are spikes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's hard to explain. Yeah. The, the whole roof is movable. No, the roof doesn't look like it's movable. It just looks like the roof slopes inward. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Weird. Yeah, the diagram helps with that a lot. Yeah, sorry. It's yeah. try to explain that verbally, right? Yeah, that's Especially that's, like I'm super spacey right now, so. Yeah, that, that's a challenging description. So yeah, it slopes inward. That's really kind of dumb. And it's a really sharp angle, too. Like, structurally, it doesn't seem to make much sense. And this is just a tripwire that we could step over, right? Yeah. Uh, Do we want to just step over it? Yes, just going to step over it and start heading through. Okay. Sounds good. Because, uh, Just watch out for other ones. Yeah, we'll look around. Tia, do me a favor. Yeah. I need you to make me a deck save. Eh. Okay. She'll do so. Mally is gonna step over. Right the side of the two. Oh, I no, I can't one. see it. Is that two? Is it a two? Um, it was a two. It's gonna be a four. Cool, 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 cool. Um, no, you're gonna no. walk around the outside as well. <laughs> around the outside, she was going through the middle, I think. Uh, she was. I need yep. you to make me a deck save. As well. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. Is are you right up against the where the second tripwire is? Me. Me? Yeah, you Mars. Uh, oh, I haven't really moved much, but I decided to go on my okay. hands and knees because I'm nervous. That sounds great. Make me a deck safe. Cool. I'm by the door. Sure. <laughs> so, so, so is Cadmus. <laughs> He's like, like what's I'm going just, on? I'm just that like, do you want me to set it off? Twenty three. Well, we're not in here. Okay. Uh, here's what's going to happen, guys. Uh, you are, oh, no. you walk across the room, and you, also, you walk around the center of the room, stepping over that trip wire. As soon as your foot touches down on the other side, a bright orange glyph glows on the floor, and the ceiling becomes the floor. Your gravity inverts. Oh no! Oh. And you start plummeting, plummeting toward the inverted spike funnel. Oh no! You also will start plummeting toward it, but we we'll manage to grab some stonework on your on the way, and you are crawling on your hands and knees, and are going to be able to like grab the base of one of these columns and hold on for dear life, as you see. Uh, Mars nice. suddenly do a handstand off the floor. Malia fly up, start bouncing down this funnel, and Tia shoot straight into the blades. Tia would like to turn into something. Uh, Tia doesn't. Yeah. Tia failed her reflex save. Tia, Tia failed her reflex save. Tell me if it is. If I take more than thirty-eight points of damage. Were you already an animal? What? Was that your normal hit points? Yeah, I have. I was at fifty-two. And then I lost 14 from ooze. From ooze. Well, mm, mm, mm. So now I'm 38. Heck. Uh, Heck. Heck. I would like to express a yike. 
Uh, okay. yeah, you're going to take 52 points of damage. <laughs> I'm dead. Well, you're in death saves. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so there will be a sudden inversion, and you will hear the sound of... <laughs> and no blood falls from the ceiling. It's being pulled up. Um, all right. Uh, so with that, um, you two just made your saves. Zeno, what do you do? Uh, so she's still doing a handstand in front of me. Yeah. And are you saying anything while you're going? Ah. Um. Oh, it's fine. It happens. Yeah, water bottles happen. Water bottles do happen. Oh, okay. It's just getting on this like a trap. <laughs> yep. Alright, so you're hanging on for dear life. Uh, I'm just at the door like... What is happening? How did this happen? Magic trap! Magic trap! Magic trap! Malia's voice will like start shrieking from the ceiling. Silence. Uh, what do you do? I don't have anything for this. <laughs> well, do something. What, what do you want me to do? I, I don't know. All right. Uh, Mally, I need you to make me a uh, strength roll, please. To hang on. If I had to spell magic, that'd be great. All right, you're going to be able to hang on, um, but you are still like on the verge of this slope. Uh, Mars is spending all of her time hanging on down there. Uh, Tia, make me a death save. Okay. Don't roll the one. I rolled a three. All right, that's a fail. That's not a one. Yeah. Can I do a thing? You, uh, unless Zeno wants to do a thing right now, yeah. Um, dispel magic. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> uh, so, do you have to roll against something? Choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. 120 feet. Any spell third level or lower on the target ends. For each spell of fourth level or higher on the target, make an ability check with using your spellcasting abil ability. Okay. DC so you'll need equals 10 plus the spell's level. Okay. So you'll need to make me a spell check. Okay. Uh, DC plus the... Okay, cool. Spell level. Tell me what you get. Boy, I'm glad I shouted that in character. That, the, yeah, the, the roof was a very specific thing. <laughs> what? I don't have to spell magic! And Cadmus being like, do something! Nat 20, bitches! Okay, so, so you, are going, you are going to grab your symbol of Vela and shatter the glyph of the glyph of gravity inversion. And his corpse plummets to the ground. <laughs> so yep. how much damage do I take? From falling? Yeah. Uh, Did I fail both of my next two death saves? No, you just fail one of them. Okay. Uh, is gonna hit the ground hard. Clunk. And I'm also gonna hit the ground hard. Uh, so that that is your death save for the round. Okay. Uh, I nailed it. You did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if you wanna roll, like, boop. Spare the dime. Does it work? I crawl over. Is it enough time? <laughs> uh, do you? So you you automatically fail the death save if you take damage that round. You don't okay. take a second one. Okay, I'm gonna say that Mally has initiative on that. <laughs> we almost oh, lost Tia! <sighs> Mars is gonna throw up on the floor. <laughs> because, yes. Accurate. Yeah. I'm just like. I'm unconscious though, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I come over to you and I shove a potion, a potion in your face. Cool. Uh, it's, a, it's a greater potion. What does that put me at? Uh, greater uh, potions are how many d4s? Was it greater or medium? Uh, I have a greater potion. Cool. I've had it in my inventory since Dog Run, so. Yeah, I still have quite a few from Dog Run. Mm -hmm. We didn't really use them. I dropped a d4 on the floor, which is the worst thing you can ever do. Oh god. Now that is a trap. Okay, so Amy, heal. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two? Twenty-two. So I am at now twenty-two. Yeah, it's better than zero. It's way better than zero. Much appreciated. <laughs> so, so you wake up with me just like, chunk! D4 Caltrop is the worst thing ever. Mm. 
Mm. That's true. I don't think anybody had. No, she's the one with Goodberry. Chat was asking if someone could Goodberry you. Oh no, I'm the one with Goodberry, and I don't have it as a spell selected right now. Welcome to Goodberry, home of the Goodberry. Yeah. Can it I take your order? Very good Goodberries. It's true. Mally is just going to cling to the floor. Can I get both of you to make me a perception roll? Actually, all three of you, since you're on this side. You know, Cadmus is going to inch over as well. <laughs> Uh, for, uh, 15 plus 9 is 24. What am I doing? Uh, 20. Perception, you said? Yep. Mm -hmm. I rolled 16, so 1d2. You can see that the tripwire is rigged to a small vial that would have poured something inky and liquid over the glyph and disarmed it if you had tripped it. You gotta admit that actually was kind of funny. Though. That's that's like, pretty great. Like I mean, not what happened to you, but that is pretty. That's pretty awful. Malia will start muttering away uh. to herself. We asked this <laughs> fucking goddess temple. Ah! Hello. You'll Who's hear. Who's there? Hello? You'll hear echo from the other side of that door. Oh, no. Are you adventurers? Yes? Who's asking? Nona? Who? Who are you? Who are you? What? Who are you? for a Nona, or are you Nona? <laughs> I don't like this. I'm... Can I get an insight check off of the three of you? Yeah, sure. You read the song again, he's right. Mm, 20. 10. <laughs> 23. Holy crap, you guys are all good. Uh, you got a 10? Insight is my best thing. Uh, you still pass. You've met a Kenku before. Um, oh, that's right, we have. Yeah. It's I like a really bad version of that. Whatever's on the other side of the door is mimicking. Mm. Hello? Hello? Uh, um, out, out of character, what was the Kenku again? The bird people that don't have real voices. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Hmm. What else do I know imitates? Oh, tons of things. You're not going to be able to get that with a roll. No. But I've got an idea of some things that are not good in a dungeon. I mean, we're level seven. We sure. Need a fair amount. All right. Well, what do you want me to roll? Mm, it would probably be. Like I'm gonna be rolling over in my mind, like Insight. what the worst possible things could be. Okay. Uh, eighteen. There are quite a few things that would be really bad. Uh, an army of Kenkus, um, uh, doppelgangers, um, maybe um, other types of shapeshifters, fey, famori, um, giant rocks, as in like ROCs, mm -hmm. phoenixes, uh, various aberrations. Ooh, um, uh, obelisks. Obelisks? Obelisks? It's the race of slime people. I'm gonna, like, just be verbally going through all this. So that everybody else can, like, hear my train of thought. Slime people. Uh, the door at the end of the hall will creak and open. <laughs> Friends? Maybe. Are you friendly? Friends. 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 And, uh, are you guys just all clustered like that? I think so, yeah. Cool. Um, there will be a sudden whoosh. Or at least I think the three of us are kind of more inside, whereas Zeno and Cadmus are still in the doorway. 
I know, came over. They and went over to you. Okay. Yeah, actually, and you guys would have collapsed right around the center here. Yeah. I was just about to head back out of the room into the pool room, but that can not be right now. Into the pool room or the cool room? Yeah, because I was gonna actually suck up all the water with it. That's the dryness speed. Oh. This is a cool room. That's a that's pretty smart actually. So. That's what I wanted to do right after I gave her the potion. All right, so I'll say that you're walking about there when the voice came out. And I'll probably wish I'd be like, wait, what? Uh, can I get initiative off everyone? Yeah. <laughs> 19! Okay, so 19 and 18 for me. Uh, what's your dex mod? Four? Six. Okay. Oh, no, my, de uh, my dex, sorry. My dex mod is three. But your initiative mod is really high. Six. Yep. That, yeah, that's, okay. the, that's the six. And then, uh, Cadmus is like a 12. 16. Amy? I got eight. Want me to roll for winter? <laughs> Mars uh, is still past that. Mars on the floor. is Mars still, still just flat on the floor. Flat on the floor. We'll react when winter gets back. Sounds good. Nylia and then Tia. Oh yeah, we've got um, carbonation stuff. Okay, yeah, hmm. she's already been spraying. We need to. Nope, she's just. Uh, we're just not feeling fantastic. No, I know she's probably she's um. Well, actually, hold on a sec. Do you guys wanna? Do you guys wanna pause here? A little break would probably be good. I think a break. Would All be right. Good. Um. So, you prepare yourselves, and as you brace yourselves, some small things the size of softballs come soaring into the room, aimed, aiming directly at you, their bulbous eyes twitching beneath varied green tentacles. What? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. And we're going to pause it here so we can do a bathroom break. Uh, we will see you shortly. As the door creaks open, these tiny green softball-shaped monsters float inside, growling and snarling. Friend? 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 And that's where we're going to stop right there with that look. Uh, so, uh, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Um, we're calling it a little bit early because uh, we want to give you the best game possible and we're all really out of it um so really appreciate you tuning in uh we will see you in the new year thank you so much for tuning in over the holidays please check dork tales we're going to have a lot of pre-recorded games that are going to be shown as well as i'm going to play a uh a metric crap ton uh vampire the masquerade coteries of new york because i just bought that the other day and i need to I need to get through that entire game um so from all of us here at dork tales have happy holidays have a great time. Hopefully you get some rest and relaxation. You get to see some people you love. We, unfortunately, won't be those people that you love, I guess, on Christmas because we're going to be doing other stuff. But uh, that was an awkward way to say that we love you. But that's okay because we're really shy. Sure. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're just YouTube. super charismatic. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great holiday. Bye. Bye. Where's the button? It's over there. Push that one. Push the button. Do it. Push the button, Carl. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, yeah. This one? Yeah, that one.